Meanwhile, officials in Delaware are also fighting the pandemic in a new way, estimating the number of COVID-19 infections in specimens after they have been flushed. Alexandria Hoff explains the science found in sewers. The fight against COVID-19 has gone underground. Let's be honest, taking samples from our sewer system from the sewer pipes is never pretty. Not pretty, no, but data collected from sewers has helped researchers track diseases in the past. So officials in Newcastle County, Delaware have now put their waste to work. We made this connection with Biobot Analytics, which is actually a startup company coming out of MIT in Massachusetts. Uh, we're in their program now. We send them every week samples. That company, Biobot, analyzes wastewater. In the case of COVID-19, the goal is to track traces of the virus found in waste to produce more accurate estimates of community infection rates without having to depend on the number of people who got tested. Just like you can take, uh, you can measure antibody in blood, you can measure viral RNA through a nasal swab. You also can measure uh, a viral presence, viral bacteria volume through wastewater. As part of the program, Newcastle County received their first results this week. According to that sample, on April 15th, approximately 3% of the county's population north of the CND Canal had the virus. That is a rate 15 times higher than confirmed positive tests produced on that same date. It's communal wastewater, so of course it doesn't tell us whether you know you or your next door neighbor or anyone um, has the virus. But it could help point to asymptomatic carriers, specific areas of impact, and eventually if widespread immunity is forming. It's new technology, not completely proven according to county officials, but it is promising enough for Newcastle County to commit to three more weeks of testing. We're already working with Biobot and trying to see how we can scale it both for longer and also potentially test more treatment plants. This testing comes at no cost to the county. Well, except for the cost to ship those samples to the lab in Massachusetts. Alexandria Hoff, CBS3 Eyewitness News.